Hey guys, Pedguin here, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the month of February with all the Terraria news and all that good stuff, all the spoilers and everything. Alright, so first of all, we've got a new kind of soundtrack that's been released, and this is, most people are speculating it's from the uh, Lunar Event soundtrack, so we'll be taking a look at that in a bit of detail in just a moment, but we've also got some other news that we'll be covering as well. A new game has been announced officially from the developers of Relogic. Otherworld, Terraria Otherworld, looks absolutely fantastic. It, the, the art style is just absolutely great and it seems to have more um, of a, like, I feel like it's not as sandboxy as Terraria and it's got like some more goals to it and, and it seems a bit more interesting. It's like, you've got like quests and stuff like that, it sounds like. We'll get into it more later as we take a look into the actual gameplay and screenshots. And so yeah, some absolutely fantastic news that we're going to be taking a look into. I hope you guys enjoy it, and yeah, let's take a look, shall we? Alrighty, so I'm going to be like stopping and starting music at random. So if you want to, if you haven't listened to this yet and you want to check it out for yourself, the link is down in the description, so you feel free to check it out. But we're going to be speculating this, so once you've watched it, feel free to come back and gather some info. Okay, so one of the main reasons a lot of people think this is for the uh, the lunar event rather than like a lunar boss or something, just give it a listen real quick. You can hear that it sounds a lot more calmer, and you may remember like a long time ago when 1.2 was released and the like the music album was released. There was also a lunar boss soundtrack that was released with that. That sounds a lot more like intimidating. You can listen to it here as well. As you can see straight from the bat, it's a lot more like in your face and suits a boss spell. And this one, like the, the one that's just been released, is much more like suitable for some sort of event. Like you can just imagine it, right? Like they're like an evil presence is invading your world and it, and all of a sudden like these aliens start coming out of nowhere. I think if you remember a long time ago, um, Chrono released some like spoilers of um, like what could be perceived pre as an like an event type creatures, all different types of matching enemies, and they've probably added on that by now. There's probably a lot more different types of enemies and all sorts of stuff. So that, there's got to be some pretty interesting stuff. I can't wait to see it. And to add further on this, you may remember this GIF, and I don't think this has anything to do with like the Luna stuff. I think this is a different thing on its own. So could we say Luna boss confirmed, Luna event confirmed, and is this a separate boss on its own as well that like summons the boss? Is it? We we don't even know. So this may be like a second boss. Like 1.3 is just so big. I like I think all these spoilers are just small like things from everything being larger than like we can even imagine I just think 1.3 am I hyping it up too much I think there's gonna be like several bosses coming for 1.3 and yeah even more so I can't wait okay so I know not everything there was released in February but I feel like it's all intertwined in, in a way so I kind of have to reference it I mean who knows like there's so many things that reference each other we just got to try and like fit it together and complete the puzzle that they're giving us it's like all these spoilers are like a tiny piece of the puzzle but the puzzle don't fit like where is everything and it's just it's because the puzzle is so big I feel that oh, I'm just I, I, mean, I think I'm hyping it up too much am I maybe all right there's one last thing that we're gonna be taking a look at that was released this month Terraria Overworld this is absolutely massive so I'll try and get through it as fast as possible uh, without taking up too much of your time but yeah let's get into it shall we Excited? You should be. That looks absolutely fantastic. Alright, I'm going to be taking some screenshots of some of the um, kind of gameplay you saw and we'll be commenting on that. 
but make sure you keep in mind that all of what you will be seeing is pre-alpha footage even though it looks really polished and stuff it's pre-alpha so everything can be changed so yeah let's take a look shall we so as you can see straight away very iconic stuff you can, I don't even need to tell you what this is, this is the corruption obviously, if you've played Terraria at all you know what the corruption looks like, and even though the game is clearly like, artwork is immensely different, you can still instantly tell that this is Terraria, the hot bar, the enemies, the character, the, the world itself, it looks like Terraria, and it probably feels like Terraria as well, um, as you could see in the, the footage before, everything like runs really fluidly, sometimes when you go for this art style, you can end up your characters looking all clunky and stuff, but everything was going smoothly, as you could see with uh, some of like the running animations, they look perfect. Okay, so in this next image, as you can see, on the left-hand side, there's a crystal. Um, this was seen in the trailer as well. Um, he was, like, moving out of this, like, orb area here. And when he moved out of it, it kind of, like, this, like, pulling thing to show, like, this area is, like, your home. And, and like, only you can penetrate, like, this shield, I, I believe that's what it's saying. Um, I believe the crystal has some significance. As you can see from the, the title screen, it has a crystal in the center of the logo. Um, which is absolutely fantastic. The the game has like a like it revolves around this sort of iconic crystal, uh, and I believe a lot of people have been speculating about this. But my theory is that um, this crystal is you can either make it or come across it within the game, and it it will be like a base slash like teleporter. Because one of the worst things in Terraria is having a base and then having like mobs just walk into your base, right? And then another thing bad about the original Terraria is being able to go from one side of the world to the other side of the world and it just takes so long, right? So if this was like a teleporter, you come across these like gems and then you could teleport to each other area. It, it just make the game so much more enjoyable and I feel like you can like do two birds one stone sort of thing you know what I mean like have a secure base where no one can enter and be able to just teleport to each location freely and this sounds like that this is just my theory we, we don't know anything yet it could just be some random crystal that doesn't do anything and looks pretty right um, but that's my theory let me know what your theory is down in the comments Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this first, like, kind of episode into the series. Um, I might make this thing, like, a monthly or bi-monthly thing, depending on how much Terraria news comes out, um, and spoilers and stuff. It's not just gonna be purely spoilers, it's, it's gonna be, like, Terraria news, it's, that's what it's gonna try and turn into, like, a Terraria, like, news show kind of thing. So if you guys got any, like, ideas or anything, or if you want... If you like this and want more of it, feel free to leave any suggestions or comments down below just to let me know how I'm doing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching so much. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.